we're we going today, Brit. I genuinely can't Mary remember. <laughs> and what is it? It's also known as the middle of nowhere. I think it's near Ballarat. It's a uh, grand final weekend here in Australia. Well, Victoria more specifically. So we get a public holiday for no good reason. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, but we've just gone online and looked at places we could actually afford to stay at. And this is what we picked. And Trip has started off well. I've already lost the car keys. We've just spent the last five or ten minutes trying to find them. I just dropped like them on the, the ground. Just like the record to state, if I'd lost the car keys, I'd cop so much more flack than you got. Alright, why do the flies always go for your ears, right? Where are we? Streeping? Home of fire. Fire world. Remember seeing that last weekend when we drove through here? We just passed Raglan, so. Raglan, Victoria. It's not by the water, which a is just A town with the real fighting spirit. Shut up. <laughs> so not funny. We're on a back road. So that was your reference from Backroads, which is a Netflix series that we've been watching a bit about uh, backcountry Australian towns. Oh, is that what the reference was? Oh well, yeah, it's a, it's a town with a real fighting spirit, is what the... Um, she doesn't say that for every time. Oh yeah, she, she does. She, she, she like insinuates, that. yeah, like living in a, a rural town is some sort of battle. <laughs> And he was saying that he, I went to see a show and this whole time he thought like the bass parts were played on the guitar. So he had been trying to do the, the rhythm parts and the bass parts at the same time. And the first time he saw a bass guitar, he was like, what is oh. that? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the best beer list in all of Australia here in Avoca. Not that you've got a photo of it. No, no, yeah. but uh, I was told twice inside, it's really the best, we've won it twice. <laughs> and this is a blood orange sour beer from Ballarat. Some really awesome entrees earlier, but this is what the mains are. It's a little queasy, so she's decided to go for something so middle of the road. But these are very special sausages, so hopefully they're good. I'm excited for the avocado in Avoca. There's a sign outside the town that's been vandalised from Avoca to Avocado. Watch out for kangaroos! Cute little hang for the long weekend. We'll hole ourselves up in here. We're doing the, um, the banquet here. What are you eating? Um, a spring roll? And a um, crust. It's called like a prawn bread. A prawn bread thing. Yeah, Nailed it. Smashed it, bread. Special fried rice. For a special person. And the butter fried chicken. All reason we're here, really isn't good. it? It's all about the fried ice cream chicken. <laughs> Unbelievable. How's it going, Brett? to lose the Scrabble game. I had such a massive lead. You lost to the master. No, I just I picked... lulled you into a false sense of security. I picked up the Q on my last turn and got stuck with it in my hand. Yeah, unbelievable. That was a 28 point life, uh, 28 point, um, point swing. Tall bot. Railway. railway, Heritage Railway Station. It's a train over there and there's a nursery in here so Britt's going to come home with some plants. Bot train station. Feline trains must come past here. Not much left of this um, model train track though, huh? Mm -hmm. This is Tallbot. Must have been the old pub or something now. Yeah? An old gold rush town. And they brewed the beer here in Victoria. Mm -hmm. Really good. Pretty yummy. Mm -hmm. Jacob and Britt's food blog. <laughs> so We're not that cool, mate. I'm interested in cooking eggs. I've got quite a few interesting egg recipes under my belt, and this one is a revelation. What have you got there? I have cauliflower on my side. We're on one of the back roads now, off to a blocker again. I'm gonna check out some wineries today. I'm hoping Jake is watching for the kangaroos. 
things. We're trying some wine today. It's a public holiday in Australia, as I may have mentioned. It's grand final weekend. So we're adventuring. Our echo is four wheel drive. I don't think anyone will be able to hear this because it's so loud. Honestly, I've been up worse than our car. The lady at the winery said that maybe we shouldn't if we had a small car. And I was like, I don't think she knows how small our car is. And she's already advising us against it. But this is the way to the near next winery, so it seems like the right choice. Four wheel drive access only. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe not. Forget that. Yeah. Okay, so admittedly we have an adventurous streak, but we're not suicidal. <laughs> yeah. And so there was a hill that said four wheel drive only, and the hill was very steep. It and I know our handbrake. Yeah, I know our handbrake doesn't even work on our driveway that well, so we decided maybe not by a Dutch guy who immigrated here when he was 15 and a half but he's still got a very thick Dutch accent which blew my mind considering I can't even hear mum's accent. How did you find this one? You loved it? No. <laughs> oh, no. I really enjoyed it. The man was really lovely and it was all really small um, but all the, all the wines and the dessert wine in particular were really good and they had ciders as well. So this is the old Duke Mine arch. I can't go over there because a the magpie just swooped at me. But uh, they had a Cornish pumping engine here, the largest one in Australia. And now, nothing. Dinner and a show, huh, Brett? Dinner and a show. Are we going, yeah. are we going? I don't know. Going to see Downton We get to uh, shame people as they walk into KFC. To go and see Downton Abbey because yeah. Francino said so. Did you actually watch the whole season? The series? No, last season I saw was season three. But fun fact, you and I would never not together. It was like your book. So, so, That's how and we never wound up watching Downton Abbey. I need your numbers so we can watch Downton Abbey together. And six years later, here we are. Donnelly? Donnelly. 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 Royal Hotel. This is what it is open anymore. What is this we're looking at, Bruce? It's the John Flynn Memorial. Who's John Flynn? He did the Royal Flying Doctors. An important man. He's on the $20 note. He's on the $20 note. Well, I have to look closer at the $20 note. Where are we, Jacob? We, uh, we're taking the Echo off-road again. Yeah, we're going to Echo Off-Road. We're taking the Echo Off-Road again. This is uh, we're off to find the Welcome Stranger Monument. One of the biggest gold nuggets ever found. This is the spot they found Welcome Stranger, which turns out to be the largest alluvial gold nugget ever found, 72 kilos. They couldn't move it with two people. We are in Wedderburn. Unfortunately, the community art shop is closed, but this is the old school. Oh, Britt, look, we found the doctor. This is uh, your a rural health uh, holiday. <laughs> These flowers are everywhere here in Wedderburn. But it doesn't think they're marigolds, but they look well, kind of like them. They are marigolds, but they're kind of going to see Looks like I'm going to have to come back here again at some point. They haven't finished building the train track yet. Right in the middle of town. Jacob just is in love with weeds. Cafe and bars wears. I think we're here for the building. Yeah. So there's one train a day that comes through this station. Oh, the that. Yeah, but Maryborough apparently was supposed to be a really big spot on the Victorian Rail network and uh, that never really eventuated, so they've got this massive train station. Well, I guess this was like, this was on par with Ballarat and Bendigo and Bendigo. Like, yeah. Casual Lamborghini outside, playing some skiffo. Let's throw back to Dunedin. Yeah, when we first met. I don't even remember really playing this game. I remember the it's game. Come back to you now. No, I don't even remember playing it like this. Today, when we tried to come here, it was uh, locked up because it was between split shifts, so lunchtime and dinner shift. You think having worked in hospitality, you have Yeah, I know, <laughs> still. So we're gonna try and come here for breakfast. This time, the doors look like they're open, so that's a good start. I think Jake is really. 
We went out for dinner last night as well, but I had a bit of a cold, so I stopped taking some videos. Attempt number three, we're now inside the building. I guess but breakfast out. The cafe doesn't open till 10. It doesn't look very open today. It's supposed to be. I got really excited when it said open fourth Sunday of the month. Jacob's favourite pub. It's pretty good. Ah, oh, it was good. What are you going to have? I don't know. Being a naughty boy, the beef burger. We put a veal snitchel there as well. It's pretty good, bro. I'm making dinner. Dinner? Oh, yeah. You're making dinner for me? Yeah, for you. Yeah, Sounds pretty making... good, yeah. Pumpkin risotto. Pumpkin risotto. And we're using quite a few things from a gut. Some flowers on our driveway. These are the tires we dug up from where I put the planter boxes in the backyard. So I'm going to fill them up with some bee and butterfly flowers. We've got a, you see the row of sunflowers coming up there in front of the house, and uh, four strawberry, four or five strawberry plants at the front there. Built some planter boxes for brick earlier in the year. And we're just starting to get some stuff in there now. The soil is very hard and clay, which is not fantastic. But we bought a little rhubarb on our trip this weekend too. We got a little uh, spot for a tree in front of the house as well. Putting the bricks in there. So much cooch. There are runners everywhere and it's so hard to keep out of this garden from my bike down in Waterloo. Egg curry for dinner. I've got some bread on the go for brick tomorrow. Some spelt bread, so we've got some okra and some tomatoes. The strawberries haven't really sprouted, which is a bit sad. Might be one in there. Doki, egg curry. Out for a bit of a walk this morning along the beach here in Warrnambool. This is quite close to our house, maybe like 10 minutes walk down the track. It's a middle island over there, there's a penguin colony on there. When the tide goes out you can walk to it. Um, you used to be able to walk around on the island except uh, they stopped allowing that because the penguin colony there was dwindling in numbers quite a lot because the foxes had figured out that you could go along the beach at low tide and they were picking off all the chicks and that. So now you're not allowed to go out on the island and they've spent all that money making tracks and that there. Uh, but uh, they have guard dogs that are protect the penguins at night from the foxes now. So leave them out there on the island. It's Thunder Point over there, where the mountain bike park is, and the uh, house is just over that hill there. Had a go at making the sauce from the Profidor Cafe and Torbot the other day. It, this one smelt really, really soy saucy. Um, but I didn't really taste that soy saucy, so now I've put like a bit too much soy sauce in my one, but you know, you live and learn. Got to get some uh, fresh uh, dill, huh? Have we got that going in the garden? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of road works on this road. Gets neglected quite a lot. So now we're waiting for the red light. Hopefully I can make it to teaching on time. This is my teaching space here in Camperdown that I've uh, hired from the church. It's really more space than I need. It's uncharacteristically hot today at Camping Out. So this is the first time that I haven't had to turn the heater on here. Yeah, this is quite an old building, it's been freezing. Lots and lots of guitar practice this morning. Um, playing in a musical, Mamma Mia, Guitar 2. Uh, there's about 90, yeah, 98 pages of this. So I think I've made about a, a 10 page chunk into it. It's gonna be a lot of memorizing. Well, not exactly, but you know, catch your drift. Anyway. This is my workspace in here, and my desk, which I put an old writing desk with my computer on top. I must admit it's getting kind of difficult to look up from the chair to the screen. Getting a lot of tense uh, back neck muscles.